he's going to be challenged, Coach, in this Halcones team. You've got some big men, veterans out of America, out of Austria, in Rasid. Uh, they've been here before, so they're going to come out of the blocks uh, pretty hot, I would think. All right, looks like we're ready to roll. Bejarano will take the tip against Williams, and we're underway for the second matchup of the tournament. They execute these plays really well. And there's Romero to the basket using his left hand. Very nice finish. Here comes Esteli. Yeah, using his athleticism that uh, is a high, high level and a great finish underneath using the rim to protect him. And then no defense on the other end. He's got just two to shoot. And the big man misses a hook, gets his own board, and this is the putback. <laughs> really good. And Steli Ball. Oh. Center and big, so he, he's beating uh, the health bonus picks down the floor right now. Glenn a three. He was fouled and won. A chance at the four point play. Take me through this. Well, there's. You got to close out contest. I understand that. But they've taken five fewer shots than Halcones coming out with some pace. Holloway on the drive, the dish, and picture-perfect cut, Adonis Henriquez. They did that all night last night, and uh, this is a great execution right there. Giron steps through and pours it in. And Halcona says uh, they'll, they'll beg him to take those shots. They don't want him working inside. Jefferson gets it and a foul. Uses it well, gets to the basket. Look at a little hook there. <laughs> this is a totally new look Halcones team. Eight new players. So you really have to throw that one out as Esteli comes up with a steal and the easy flush for Emmett Williams. Uh, give Williams a free run at the basket. You gotta get back and protect the rim in defense. Three ball good. The answer comes courtesy of Jordan Glynn. So also, apologies, much, folks. Sam Looks like that clock is frozen. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, Sam, pretty it's much all of the youth are performing and, and showing why they got them. Bejarano misses the yeah, Halcones, this totally new look team showing out offensively so far. And Halcones de Jalapa, SD lead with the early advantage. Jalapa with it. Little drive and kick action, stuffed in the corner by Ruiz. Credit to Coach Paco as Halcones de Jalapa has a six point lead. No answer there for Williams. And it's out to Holloway. His three was stuffed by Glynn. And now here comes Halcones. Elsner on the drive. Count it. And a foul. After this block. And then what do you do with good defense? You reward it 
on offense. Elsner with a phenomenal 15 seconds. Argentinian-born Elsner sees a little bit of Manu Ginobili in himself, especially on plays like that. And now he's hurling it down the court. Jalapa dominating. So Halkonis looking good. Defense turning into smooth offense. We're at a timeout here in Puerto La Cruz. Here's Romero to Holloway. We'll see if Esteli can stop the bleeding, and there's a surefire way to do it. Finds his point guard, Tater Fernandez. 5'10 Puerto Rican, off to Jefferson, and just a clean bully run at the hoop. Sam Brief, Paul McKeskey with you. Basketball Champions League America's action, and coach, I see a defensive adjustment for Esteli. A little zone look, but it doesn't work. I mean, it's a long way to go, but so far, so good with the new look. Seven different Halcones have scored. Show that they deserve to be there. That's another thing. Right, you want to prove your general manager correct. And Jefferson scrapping for it. Elsinor cleans it up. Lefty, Argentinian, and hustling hard. There's a desperate three for Holloway, and now a one-on-one -on -one run for Esteli, and it's Elsinor. They're just giving up transition baskets. They're giving up open jump shots, so uh, there needs to be a change done here for Esteli really quick when this game gets out of hand. Well, there's like a that. shot. You know, I mean, he's traveled the world. He's played at every level, so this is a good finishing for him. And then Elsner continues to be swiper. He's only missed once. Ruiz, Jefferson just took it and finishes. What about Elsner looks so much like Ginobili? Yeah, he's just smooth. Yeah, Elsner's like an energizer bunny as Ruiz misses, but Henriquez is there. Adonis Hernandez seals the deal. Dominican born 6'6", power forward. Now back to this hot Halcones team. We haven't seen Mahalsebic in quite some time. And what they're supposed to do, they understand their roles and they're accepting them and just play them. And, you know, don't get caught up with trying to do too much. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's solid. He's, uh, you know, strong in the post. And, you know, he, he's not really a big time scorer, but he can score it down there. Here he goes, coast to coast, drop it in. On the other side, Ismael Romero turning some nice defense and this meaningful offense. BCLA Group A action. Going in the halftime if they keep that up. Elsner on the pick and roll, and it's Mahalsebic to finish. Mahalsebic to Hiron, a three ball. And rebound goes to Esteli. Here's Ruiz trying from downtown. Approaching halftime. Hiron after a pump fake. Hiron turns and pounds it in. Uh, it's a fun game to play and watch. This team's a finely tuned machine, and they continue to look just like that. Alcone is doing such a nice job moving the basketball. Malhalsevic on the near block. He's got a huge mismatch against Williams, but Emmett Williams holds strong defensively. Reconstructed in the last three weeks. Looking smooth so far in Puerto La Cruz. There's a deep three ball for Glenn. And with 10 to go, Esteli. So let's see how Halcones finishes what was a smooth first half. Elson are storming to the hoop. So easy, so smooth for Alexis Elsener. So he's the guy that can light the uh, Esteli uh, energy and come back here. And it's important. Oh, a Kubian uh, pours <laughs> one in. Floor. Another low Kubian. This is with the shot clock. So smooth. Those kind of shots will help you a lot. Holloway on a pick and roll. 
down low. Nice cut. There's your man, Emmett Williams. Last night in the loss to Gladiadores, Williams had 23 points, 9 of 10 shooting from inside the arc. And now, here comes Romero on the alley-oop. Well, Real Esteli. Three ball, Bejarano can't get it. Tip is off. And then Glynn muscles a third chance. Mahalzebic wide open. Yeah, that, Luis that will reset. Standing around, just waiting for the rebound. Go grab the ball. Cintron, a desperation three. Can it look pretty? Coach Mo, I know you think Esteli might come back and win this thing. Why is that? Holloway on the baseline. That's a pretty one. <laughs> the defense wants you there. There's Mahal Sabe. With his back to the hoop. Splits the D and one. Williams to Holloway. Holloway cans it. Do it, and they're starting to shake this game up and make it kind of a, a little kind of a tie up, as you'll see. And now a quick two. There's an open look. Beherano sticks the three. Williams on Glynn to Romero. Bullying in Ismael Romero. Yeah, and if Estelle can get this down to 10 point lead or even single digits. Boy, this fourth quarter, buckle your seatbelts. Oh, what a cut. And Bejarano drops it in nice and easy. The refs don't do it right in front. Exactly. exactly. Williams driving on the baseline. No. And Elsinor cleans up the glass. Long pass for Huron. Kept it in. Now Fernandez drills a three. Wash this with a couple smooth possessions. Fernandez curling around. Elsinor triggers. And there he is on the glass, Mahalsevic. He's He has one offensive uh, foul like that. And you don't want him to get another no. one. You should just keep that under wraps. Enriquez is smooth from downtown. It's a 12-point game. And Fernandez patiently driving, shooting from 10 feet. In the corner, Henriquez converts his second three of the quarter. Getting good shots. Well, maybe not that time. Here comes Esteli. Ruiz. Holloway a three. Way wild. Offensive board leads to Henriquez hitting his third in a row. Let's see what Jalapa has as an answer. It led by as much as 20 in the first half. Here's Mahalsebic, the big man, pours it in. So down 10, let's see what the answer is. Red Hot Henriquez is with it. Throws it to Ruiz dangerously. With three, Jared Ruiz comes up empty. Quick possession the other way for Halcones. Romero has 22 points, 10 of 14 shooting. His team down 12. And on the cut, there's a slam for Emmett Williams. Skies high. Uh, and uh, I could tell you what was happening. Romero, like I said, had to touch the ball all court. Patiently, Fernandez dribbling. Around to Glynn. And bam, they hit the three for a great momentum breaker. Oh, and an Elsinor breaks the possession and finishes. Alexis Elsinor. In time for Esteli. As we step aside for our final timeout, Alexis Elsinor. Added in, you know, that's not a good sign. That, that's a sign of a team falling apart. Let's see if they can stick together down the stretch. Henriquez misses his second in a row, but Romero cleans it up. Cross-court feed. 
At the top, Ruiz, a contested shot. They've missed four threes in a row. And now a wide open Elsiners blocked by Ruiz. But a foul against Jared Ruiz. Giving up on the play and getting that rebound, but a great block here. Just pinning it against the backboard. And they'll take their sweet time. Fernandez operating smoothly. Fernandez, a three. He got it. I was just going to say that. That's a dagger right there. And man, how close it's been, for, been impressive all game long. Oh, and this is the dagger plus one. Bejarano, the steal and the flush. 18-point Halcones lead. This team has stuck together. Esteli, well, they simply haven't. Holloway, a three. They've missed five straight from downtown. Just falling apart down the stretch as Elsinger makes it 20. Yeah, or a po or point differential here for a bucket. Way downtown, it's Fernandez. Hakones feeling fresh. And Esteli, rotten. They've had nothing tonight as they go winless <laughs> this weekend. Yeah, and Esteli has two, a tough loss last night, a hard fought, and then just getting blown out tonight. Very tough. Uh, uh. As they drop their Group A record to two and two, but tonight's all about Halcones retooling, remaking themselves, and tonight, in emphatic fashion, coasting to a 25-point domination. Their first win of the Basketball Champions League Americas comes tonight in Venezuela.